Okay, I messed up while I was filming. I broke the film. This and this. But luckily, I have the Kodak Universal Splicer. Let me show you how it works. Okay, we have the Kodak Press Tape Universal Splicer. It's a Super 8, 16 millimeter, and 8 millimeter. Found this at a state sim. I think two bucks. Didn't know what it really was, but decided two bucks is two bucks. So you open up the box. You have these are the press tapes. And you have a number of them. So I think the only limitation to this system is how many press tapes you have. These ones are 16 millimeter. You can see. And this comes out. Oh. And so we have some 8, 16, and some 8 millimeters, and some super 8. That corresponds to these holes up here. We also, inside the box, have instructions. So it comes with a nice instruction set. Very easy to use. Tells you what everything is. The cutting knife handle, the cutting blade, that blade right there, you can see how it's got indents. I'll show you what that is later. You have two fixed pins and you have movable pins, which is movable means you just put a piece of film on and it'll push it in and out. And that holds it up better. So these are for Super 8. And this is for 8mm and 16mm. So what do you do? Well, the first thing you do is you get your screwed up teeth. Here's my messed up film. It tore in the machine right there. You just ripped it to all crap. So I gotta fix it. I'm not gonna try to join this, this and do a good fix. Because... Frankly, you could lose 10 to 12 frames and still see the same thing. So what I do is I cut to right where the imperfection starts. So if you put it back in the machine, it's going to just hit that again. Cut that off. Go down to where... Cut that. Alright. So now we have two pieces of tape that we're going to join together. It's going to be like that. Well, even with that little tear I just saw. I'm just going to cut that off. Okay. Let's use the machine. Alright, we got the machine out. We're ready to go. Here it is. So you take one side of your film... Put it on the two holes, the two fixed holes, closest to this center line right here. And then put it on the, the flexible one, and so it holds it still. See? So you put them on these two hooks here. I'm going to put the other side on these two. And if you cross it over, cross it over so that you have some overlay in there. So now I have it hooked on to the machine with a little overlay there. So you're going to press down. And you hear that? It's cutting the film. The top part just flew off. This is it. This little piece of film. Now you're going to have that on the bottom too. 
don't worry about it. So now you take your press tape, and we have the 16 millimeter press tape, which corresponds to this same size. Use this middle right here, line it up with this line and this line. And it'll fall into the holes, the pinholes that are already here. Then you pull this side, and then the tape goes over the hole. This thing is to push in between where the peg is. You could just use your finger and put it on there. Do the same to the other side. Make sure that the film goes in the perforation. This thing's just a little tool that can push the film down. So now you're done with that side. And this is the, I really didn't do this the first time, I just did one side, but I'm gonna do it right this time. So you take this tape off, flip it over. You see there's another extra little piece right there. That's the bottom side. Flip it over, you can either flip the tape over or just move everything, and then put it down, make sure you line it up into the middle again, to the same exact spot, but now it's on the opposite side. Take your second press tape and line up the perforations again. So it's pretty easy to do and it works a lot. I have the rubber cement and all that stuff, but once you lose the cement, it's trying kind of hard to find. I don't know how much it costs now, but I don't have that many tapes left, so it's better to just use this press tool. I definitely be looking. And you just use your finger and apply the pressure, and voila, your tape is fixed. Now this is gonna be going so fast, I think it's 24 frames a second, so you'll never even see this, but your tape is gonna be good. Maybe I should have did something right here with the sound. It might distort the sound for a second, but who knows? I'm not a total fanatic and a little bit of sound's not gonna do anything. But there it is, folks. The Kodak Press Tape Universal Splicer. I have another splicer, but it's for the old way where you had to use the glue. And what happened was I didn't tighten it. And now I can't even bend that. I couldn't find any more glue. So that's it. Now I'm back to filming. Thanks for watching.